Okay, okay, I have to tell you about last night. I have to tell you no matter how delusional this is going to make me sound, I was lying awake at two in the morning, hysterically laughing, like belly laughing, like uncontrollably. I'm about to cry now just thinking about it. When people say like, oh, I've got the joy of the Lord. Like I'm telling you, I hit a new level. Something Sophia 3.0 unlocked last night. God showed me what is next for me, for my business, for my clients. And I laid there and just like let it go over my brain like a movie. Like there's this revelation of this is what's next. And I could see it all and it's, it's very big. And since I was really, really young, I'm thinking like maybe 13, 14, my favorite thing to do was go to women's conferences. And for those of you who don't know, I grew up evangelical Christian and it was always like my dream to be able to lead women. I didn't know how, I just knew I loved seeing powerful women, powerful women preachers get up there and preach. And, and as I've grown up, I've realized that these preachers were oftentimes, even though they had good intent, preaching things that <clears throat> I don't really agree with and ultimately hurt women and hurt me, like hearing things about homosexuality or uh, purity culture, these things that really deeply hurt me. Um, and that's okay, that's okay. I, I can hold the nuance, right? Like I can hold the nuance of like, I was attracted to seeing a powerful woman speak. And so now I know, I know <laughs> my next mission is to actually bring what I do to be an actual experience for the women that I'm talking to right here. To all 400,000 of you who follow me, we can have the opportunity to gather in person and let that energy stack. So I've never done VIP days yet. Uh, where people come for experiences with me. I've never done conferences yet. I've never spoken on stages yet, but last night I laid there in bed at 2 a.m. going, am I nuts? Cause I couldn't stop laughing and I could see it. I could see everything that is coming in the next two years. So I'm sharing this probably looking freaking to Lulu, but I want to document this because I could see it all so clearly and I know you can't see it yet. I don't want to share everything that I saw because I want to protect that vision in my heart, but big things are coming and everything that little Sophia wanted to do, didn't know how to do, felt disqualified to do, was told she couldn't do, she wasn't good enough to do, was told no when I'd volunteer for things. Everything that I thought disqualified me from being a good leader, a good speaker, you're secretly gay, you can't, you can't do that. Um, you can't lead, you can't do these things because you're not good enough. Even when I got to college, I felt so uncomfortable in my Christian sorority, right? Like I was so evangelical, like I knew I couldn't do these things because I had like this deep, dark secret inside. Everything that I thought disqualified from me from leading, from speaking, are the things that are connecting me to you, are the things that are going to connect me to millions of women around the world. I mean, we already have over 400,000 women in my communities across platforms. I'm ready for what's next. And I wanna remind you today that if you think there's something that has disqualified you, look, I, I quit music school because I couldn't get on stage and I couldn't play that harp, okay? I couldn't play it from memory. I, I have gone through adrenal fatigue and feeling like my brain, I couldn't process thoughts and speak clearly. And, and I got insecure about my speaking abilities. In college, I was so nervous in speech class, I took one and I had all my cards and I was like, oh my God, like I'm going to die. That's how I felt when I got up to speak. Everything that you thought disqualified you, all those things become a part of your journey, 
a part of your story, a way for people to connect with you. I just want to encourage you today to do the thing that you felt in your heart since you were little to do. Because if you were never told that you couldn't do it, or you were never shown you couldn't do it, even if no one explicitly told you, maybe you sensed, oh, Shabebe, she can't do this. You sensed it. And it broke your spirit. Remove yourself from people, from places that have broken your spirit. Get by yourself and renew your spirit and remember why you're here. Remember who you are. And your, who, who you are is going to look so different than who I am. But the things that you've always dreamed of doing, freaking do them. Freaking go do them. Start taking actions today to get there. I can't wait. I know I'm putting this out of the universe and I know it's coming for me. I know it's coming for me. I'm so ready. I'm so about to write down all the visions on the wall and I'm going to claim them over my life every day. So whatever that is for you, whatever vision you let die, bring it back to life today.